Hey awesome universe, here's my people for awesome, how you all doing? Hope you've all had a great day with you on the world. And this is a roundup of the Champions League last 16 second legs. Obviously, next week will be the other second legs, so I will be there to do that. But at the moment, this is the second legs for this one. The, uh, this Tuesday and Wednesday. <coughs> Pardon me. But basically, let's get to it. Okay, Atletico were at home against AC Milan, and they beat AC Milan in the first leg. And then, so, Atletico Madrid won really easily, you know, 4-1 against AC Milan, who are not having a great season this year. So, you know, Atletico go to the quarterfinals as one of the big dark horses. They're having a great season. They're, you know, they're big, you know, big time in the title race. It's crazy. You know, um... So, um, with this, I'm, it's actually pretty interesting with Atletico. They've got a great team. You know, Diego Costa's on, in form this season. So, you know, Atletico, I think... Um, it depends on who they get, really. If they get an, another team where they, I think they can win, then, you know... I think possibly they could get semi-finals, but final is going to be very hard for them to get to, I'm sorry. But, you know, good for Atletico, they're doing really well. Okay, next one, Manchester City versus Barcelona. You know, Barcelona came into this game after winning the first leg at the Etihad Stadium 2-0. Two away goals, and the match ended 2-1 to Barcelona at the new Camp. Man City gave it a good go, but... Barcelona were just too much on the night, Messi, obviously, and um, Barcelona, once again, get to the quarterfinals, as usual. And, uh, yeah, so, um, it's going to be a very, very big, Manche I think, for, at least for Manchester City, they can at least take something good out of this, this season of it, because they got to, they basically got, finally... To the knockout stages, at least. That was one good positive. So now they, you know, because now, I think when they get used to it more and more going into it, they'll just keep getting into it over and over again. And then I think that's where they'll evolve. So we'll see in the future. Okay. And they'll have better campaigns. But Barcelona, as usual, one of the big favorites. Definitely, you know, they'll definitely get to the semis. And they'll be in the either in the final or they'll just miss out in the semis. That's the way Barcelona usually run. Okay. Paris Saint-Germain... AK PSG versus Bayern Leverkusen. They, the first leg was in Bayern Leverkusen in Germany. Bayern Leverkusen lost to PSG 4 0. Bloody hell. Shit, they hammered them. Four away goals. And Paris Saint Germain won at home in France. In Paris, 2 1. Bloody hell, 2 1. Shit, man. And, um,. So, basically, on the aggregate, because the only reason I'm saying it, bloody hell, if you look on the aggregate, bloody hell, it's like, I don't know, like, it's 6-1 on aggregate, and you're like, shit, they hammered them, basically. That's the only reason I'm saying that. But, Paris Saint-Germain, my god, one of the, you know, I think they have definitely more of a chance of getting to the semis than a Flatico, but they are definitely, definitely one of the favourites. You know, they had a really good campaign last year. They really, you know, they took... Barcelona to the wire last season in the Champions League in the knockout stages. So Paris Saint-Germain will be up there. Uh, maybe semi-finals, we'll see. Um, and now the last one. Uh, well, also, just to say, Bayern Leverkusen, give them credit as well for getting to the knockout stages. You know, they're a club that usually come in and out, and they always get to the knockout stages, but they never really get to too far. So let's get to the final one. Boss, Bayern Munich versus Arsenal. The first leg was quite crazy because there was two penalties... For both sides, they both missed, and even, uh, I think, uh, yeah, an Arsenal player got sent off. But the thing was also, Bayern Munich won 2-0, two away goals, so Bayern Munich, you know, oh, they were literally, definitely, you know, really, you know, especially at home in the Allianz Arena, they were definitely full of confidence to win this match. And the match drawed 1-1. So Arsenal gave it one hell of a go, just like last year, you know, where they where they beat Bayern Munich 2-0 away. Uh, so, but Munich just went through. Once again, Munich went through. And because of the away goals and because, you know, they, they did the business in the first leg, the champions, Munich are through. And Arsenal, obviously, you know, it's like they... To be honest, they keep coming up against the big boys. They keep come, you know, the last few years they come up against Bayern Munich, two years running, come up against Barcelona, you know, quite a few times. You know, it is going to be, you know, Arsenal. Are all, I think they get the worst draws. That's one thing for damn sure. But I think they'll be back again, trying to win it as usual. Um, Munich. Oh my God, nothing seems to be 
to be able to stop them apart from like a Real Madrid or a Barcelona or anyone like that. Somebody, you know, who the hell is going to stop them? I don't know, but Munich are the favorites right now. And I will, but guys, leave a like and comment for your opinion. Subscribe for more videos. And, you know, football fans, soccer fans, subscribe to my channel. I do Champions League, I do Europa League, as you see. I do Premier League. I do, I'm going to do the World Cup this summer. I'm going to do so much, and I do all types of football videos. And basically, I'm going to do a roundup for next week coming of the, new, of the second leg for the Champions League. All right, bye guys. Love you. Remember, you're awesome. All right, bye.